The yearly mega event of pop culture and comics related affairs, the San Diego Comic Con, has just come to a close after showcasing a ton of exciting announcements, updates, and exclusive sneak peeks of some of the most anticipated upcoming media ventures. In this video, we will discuss all the DC and Marvel contents that will be released in the coming years, announced in this grand event. The Marvel Slate Marvel returned to SDCC after a couple of years break, and the comeback was big enough to become the topic of discussion among nerds worldwide ever since. Amidst restructuring their entire game plan, bringing in some fan-favorite actors, and sharing promising first looks of some of their most crucial projects, Marvel, and by extension MCU, seems to have found some stability after going through their recent rough patch. Let us take a quick look at every major Marvel-related update that was announced at San Diego Comic-Con 2024 and accordingly speculate the upcoming ventures as well. Multiverse Saga Restructuring Robert Downey Jr. returned as Iron Man. Shunning the scheduled Kang the Conqueror route to the culmination of the Multiverse Saga of MCU's overarching narrative structure, Kevin Feige and co. have decided to retrace their way back to square one by bringing the director duo, the Russo brothers, back to the franchise to helm the 5th and 6th Avengers movies, which will focus on Doctor Doom as the prime antagonist. Aside from officializing the news of MCU's best and most successful director's return in a Hall H panel, Marvel revealed the biggest surprising update on the same panel. The Russo brothers brought in actor Robert Downey Jr., a beloved MCU veteran whose iconic portrayal of Iron Man was the foundation of the franchise itself. Donning Doctor Doom's emerald cloak attire and iron mask in the same panel to announce his return to the franchise as the arch-villain of the multiverse saga. After a string of failures since No Way Home, MCU is not willing to take any more creative risks and has decided to choose a much safer, sure shot way of success. Whether the directors take the infamous Iron Man approach to make a Doctor Doom Iron Man fusion or variant, or the character remains distinctive enough in his own regards, remains to be seen. Fantastic Four will open the gateways to MCU's new direction. Aside from the two major Avengers movies that will wrap up the multiverse saga in classic MCU mega crossover style, the rebooted The Fantastic Four First Steps, starring Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards, Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, Joseph Quinn as Johnny Storm, and Eben Moss Backrack as The Thing, is going to be MCU's most ambitious project in the multiverse saga. Marvel's first superhero family, the Fantastic Four, will get their due justice, as leaked images from the exclusive sneak peek from SDCC Hall H look very promising. Set in a different Earth or dimension entirely, the world of Fantastic Four will deviate from the mainstream MCU quite a bit, flaunting more of a technologically advanced 60s aesthetic, kind of like the Fallout series. The first look of the movie's Big Bad Galactus, The World Devourer, has been leaked online as well, which feels much more comics accurate than the previous iteration. With a power-packed star cast, distinctive visual style, and being free from MCU's continuity entanglement, the Fantastic Four first steps can become MCU's first major chance at course correction. Additionally, with the infamous Fantastic Four nemesis Doctor Doom slated to be the main villain of the multiverse saga, Fans can expect Robert Downey Jr.'s return in a cameo appearance, albeit this time in a much different powerful set of enchanted armor. Captain America – New World Order brings the Serpent Society into the mix Meanwhile, the political landscape of the MCU gets turbulent with the Superhero Registration Act proponent, Thunderbolt Ross, becoming the new President of the United States in the aftermath of Secret Invasion and finding himself in a course of conflict with Sam Wilson's Captain America. To add to the intrigue, President Ross will also be seen as his new alter ego, the infamous Red Hulk. And from the clips showcased at the SDCC, a clash between the new Captain and the new Hulk is going to be a showstopper. The longtime Captain America adversary terrorist group, the Serpent Society, will appear in the movie as shown in the exclusive footage in Hall H. And actor Giancarlo Esposito will play Sidewinder, the leader of the Serpent Society. As shown in the footage, with the mutant's introduction to the MCU, adamantium has become the much coveted metal replacing the vibranium obsession, and it will lead to a complete turmoil in geopolitics as the conflicting ideologies of Captain America and President Ross will result in the primary crisis. Fans can expect a Winter Soldier treatment to the narrative, which will bring a somewhat grounded aspect to the movie as well. Thunderbolt's Sentry has presumably been teased. 
MCU street level villains and anti heroes will be on their road to redemption with the upcoming Thunderbolts movie which will see covert government agent Valentina Electra de Fontaine from a suicide squad as band to take care of the state's dirty deeds from the footage shown in SDCC it is revealed that a certain amnesiac patient named Bob who displays superhuman abilities will be of significant importance to the movie Major speculations about the real identity of this Bob guy are creating a buzz all around and there is a strong possibility of the person in question being none other than Marvel Superman Prestige Sentry who will seemingly take on the role of the main villain Major Marvel Comics release Last but definitely not least in the course of 4 days of SDCC a number of Marvel Comics titles were announced namely 8 Deaths of Spider-Man The Return of West Coast Avengers the relaunch of X-Men with X-Men from the Ashes and Laura Kinney Wolverine with the MCU integrating more mutants and fantastic four elements into the narrative the source material will play a vital role which makes the announcements of the new comic book series to be the most important updates additionally marvel rivals an action hero shooter video game and the return of the 90s stop motion parody series marvel superheroes what the have been announced as well which hardcore marvel nerds out there will surely check out The DC slate. There was a time when DC used to dominate Hall H of San Diego Comic-Con, especially back in 2013, when as a sequel to Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice was announced as the foundation of the upcoming DCEU, and the crowd reaction was something to behold. In the following years, DC Cinematic Ventures presence in SDCC gradually died down. Still, during the COVID years, DC Fandom, the first of its kind virtual DC Comic-Con, gave millions of fans worldwide a chance to experience the joy of connecting with their favorite creators and stars and become acquainted with different arenas of DC comics and media however those days are long gone dc eu has ended along with all the major original series on hbo max and the cumulative media adaptation output of the franchise is back to square one again under the leadership of james gunn and peter safran The new DC universe will consolidate every non-print medium of DC Comics adaptations into a single whole. And SDCC 2024 revealed some of the snippets of the much anticipated rebooted DCverse. Classic DC logo will represent DC Studios. James Gunn has taken the very first step to introduce DC Studios as a brand by introducing its new logo at SDCC. And it's an updated version of a classic one, the blue bullet DC logo created by Milton Glaser. which serves as a callback to the franchise's glory days. With animation of the iconic cover of Golden Age Superman breaking chains on its flip side, this logo will appear in every upcoming DC project from now on, giving the varied ventures a sense of unity and cohesion, which is what DCU is aiming at. It's a small gesture, but the significance lies in acknowledging the legacy of DC Comics, the creators, and in celebration of the fan base. Superman and Lois season 4 terrifying final battle clip released. The fourth and final season of CW's much acclaimed masterpiece of a series Superman and Lois will premiere in October. And before the Comic Con began, the first full trailer showcased the emotional journey the characters will have to undertake in a world without Superman. The third season finale had ended on a cliffhanger with Superman taking on Doomsday on the moon, and the continuation of the battle was highlighted at SDCC 2024. As fans got a glimpse at footage from the upcoming fourth season, in the dark depths of space, the Man of Steel appears broken, battered, and severely wounded, while Doomsday grows stronger with each blow he takes. Even with CW's moderate budget, the fight scene visuals look brilliant, and Doomsday's appearance seems much more polished compared to the previous season as well. Holding on to his dear life, Superman prepares to unleash a powerful charge of heat vision as Doomsday lunges towards him, and the footage ends right there. The fourth season will adapt the seminal Death of Superman storyline, and from the glimpse of the released footage, it is quite clear that fans will be hit with emotional gut punches through and through. Superboy will appear in My Adventures with Superman. There is no shortage of amazing Superman content, and the recently concluded animated series My Adventures with Superman will continue its brilliant run next year with a third season. The second season had introduced Kara Zor-El. and by the end of the season it had made her a mainstay member of superman's extended family as shown in the stills prepared for the third season superboy will join the squad and from the jacket wearing appearance it seems the superboy will be conal version of the character creature commando gets its first trailer 
The first project of James Gunn's DCU, Creature Commando, the animated series created by James Gunn, released its first trailer at SDCC 2024. The eponymous non-human task force consisting of obscure DC characters like Frankenstein, The Bride, G.I. Robot, Weasel, Dr. Phosphorus and Nina Mazursky will be led by Rick Flagg Sr. And once again, Amanda Waller is at the center of the formation of this covert organization. There will be certain similarities that the series will share with the Suicide Squad, and it will be interesting to see how the animated series differentiates itself from Gunn's previous DC ventures. Updates on the Batman 2 and Penguin series A brand new trailer for the Penguin series has been released at STCC, which showcases the crime lord Penguin's rise to power from the dark underbelly of Gotham. The series will have a mafioso crime thriller tone and treatment, focusing on the power grab struggle in the aftermath of Carmine Falcon's demise. Robert Pattinson will likely appear as Batman in the series as well, and Matt Reeves himself confirmed in Hall H that the much-anticipated sequel to The Batman will begin production in the first phase of 2025. A number of game-changing comic series announced. To top it all off, some seminal DC comic book series were announced in SDCC which will usher the franchise into a new era. Linewide Absolute DC, which is a retelling of the origins of the classic DC heroes in the veins of the Year One or Earth One series, a New God series by Ram V, and Justice League Unlimited by Mark Wade and Dan Mora are the most significant titles that were announced in the SDCC. A common factor in all three series is the malevolent Dark Lord of Apocalypse, Darkseed, and fans will be eager to learn how the stories will find an interconnected space.